What's up, my glassy friends? How you doing today? I'm doing great. This is Glassy Gamer, and I'm coming at you with an episode of Ark Survival Evolved Scorched Earth. Woohoo! And in this episode, we're going to show you some changes. I've uh, sort of established a, a better base. This is more of like a, a medium starter base, I suppose. And we're going to take a little tour, and then I'll show you how I got this far. So let's take a quick look around at all the goodness here. Oh yeah, look at that, a wind turbine. Isn't that sweet? Let's uh, let's take a look around. All right, so we've got a few new uh, critters here. Now, the only mob that I'm running so far is the smart dumb beetle. And what that does, it actually walks around and picks up poop for you. <laughs> so you don't have to do anything. It's just a... Uh, it just walks around like a little vacuum cleaner bug like they do in the wild. So that's that's kind of cool. I thought that was uh that should actually be implemented. Not just a mod. Alright. Here's the other little guy. Let's uh pump you up a little. Good. Uh, oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, you can keep the poop. I'll give you there we go. I'll take the fertilizer. So the reason I was getting all the fertilizer is I want to go ahead and start a garden eventually. And uh, we're not there yet, but we're going to be. So what I've done is I've actually, instead of just using the basic foundations, I've actually just put regular foundations down instead of the, the fence foundations. And I've put them all around here. And I think what I'm going to do eventually is just fill it all in just for aesthetics. I thought it looked pretty cool. And... Uh, once we get rid of all these stupid rocks, I've been going through tons and tons of rocks of sandstone uh, and sand uh, and cactus. I've decimated the cactus population. So let's take a look at our uh, our little uh, wind turbine here. So check this out. It actually generates electricity. See that? Isn't that awesome? So let's go on inside. Check out these adobe doors, how ridiculously thick they are. <laughs> that must be why they trap the heat. All right, so a few things. We've got ourselves a couple furnaces going. We've got ourselves a industrial uh, fabricator. And somebody just pooped. And we got ourselves our smithy, storage. Got ourselves our mortar and pestle. We've been cranking out like crazy. Let me just put this stuff away. There we go. Oh, I've also got a ghillie suit, and I will actually show you how easy it is to get one of those. And let's go on upstairs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this kind of like an upstairs area, and, you know, put a few more things. Maybe some storage, maybe some, well, obviously a couple beds. Speaking of beds, I should probably make one. Uh, let's see, do I have the mats? I'm, I'm pretty sure I do. Bed. Simple bed. Wood thatch fiber hide. Yeah. Thatch. Fiber, hide, wood, bed. There we go. Can't leave too far home without them. I do have a bed at the other base, so it's not too bad. But it's a. Uh, let me go ahead and place that up here. Well, we got it. By the way, this is the Adobe Spiral Staircase. It looks pretty awesome, and it fits perfect. It doesn't look. You don't see any gaps. It doesn't derp out. So that's actually great. Let me go ahead and put this uh, this bed right here. And we'll put in a couple more. I like to have at least uh, two or three beds, maybe more, just to look straight. There we go. Straight enough for now. Just to have a couple, you know. So we've got our wolf here I picked up. Nothing crazy level, but you know, hey, the wolf is great. I also found a bunch of these little terror birds flying around here so I tamed it and I've been leveling crazy on this thing uh, he still has derpy weight but we're getting there and of course we've got our Argentavis I've been really busy harvesting with this Argentavis as you can see and organic polymer that's the key to this uh, to getting this and what I'm thinking is later on when we do get down to sneaky up in a mantis I wonder if this will help the ghillie suit you know because it's a uh, it kind of camouflages you from enemy creatures along with the bug repellent. So we'll try that out. Well, not today, obviously, but we'll try it out eventually. 
And let's see. We will pump. How about some melee damage? There we go. So let me uh, unload here. We'll get some of this Garbo off. That's definitely not Garbo. That's not Garbo. We'll save that. Let me get all this. Uh, I was actually out hunting Mantis. So that's why I've got a ton of the uh, organic polymer on me. And a ton of, ton of the chitin. So let me... Uh, I'll leave the tent on there. Tent is good. And I need to get some food off the little guy here. Yep, you got my food. Let's uh, throw some meat on here. I just stored all the rotten meat on him. He's my fridge. Uh, I really should set up a fridge, but I haven't gotten that for yet. But I will. Uh, I'll just put the polymer on you. It's going to decay anyway regardless, but that's okay. And... There we go. So since we've got a ton of stones, we can probably make a ton of the, uh, 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 I'm derping out here. We can make a ton of the, uh, cementing paste. There we go. So let's go take a, a little fly around. Now that we've, uh, lightened our load a little, uh, let's, uh, unload this. Don't need that. There we go. Perfect. And... Here we go. Let's get an idea how the aerial looks on this uh, base. Let's get him a two. Gamma two. Eh, didn't help. All right. Ooh, another level. So this is how the base looks so far. I've got my little pen enclosed, and I need to get a water source tapped from over here and run somehow. But what I'm thinking of doing is eventually just adding a bunch of little buildings around here, maybe closing it off with gates or a wall eventually. But this is my temporary pen just to keep the raptors and terror birds and everything else from eating my dinos uh, while I'm away looking around. Yeah, also keeps the dumb beetles from running away because those friggin' things are crafty. They're escape artists. All right, so first things first. Let me show you where I got my... Argentavis, because that's a big one. So you see these uh, mountains to the south. Uh, you're looking. I'm looking at around 70, 50 ish, and over at uh, 80, 60 ish, you can actually get uh, all kinds of Argentavis. They're actually right up here in the, in the mountains. And we're back. So we are in the mountainous areas, and as you can see, there's all kinds of Argies here. And there's, well, all kinds of kitties and some carnos. So all the crazy stuff. This is kind of like Carno Island in a way, except it's just in the mountains. So this is where I actually found my RG. And I just kind of lured it away and, you know, just downed it over here and tamed it up. And it was a 120, so that was freaking amazing. And I used some of the uh, prime meat I got off of one of the snakes and tamed it up with prime. So that's how I got a perfect tame. Woohoo! So the way you find these is you just look. Oh, there's a dragon. No, no, no. Don't want to play with a dragon. <coughs> Run away! Run away! All right, so what you do is you look for these uh, hills. See how they're kind of like. Well, the mountains, they're kind of like scarred and. You know, a little bit dark with lines and such. That's what you're going to look for. And you'll see these around around there. And you'll see some over here as well. So those mountains actually, uh, that's where you get your Argies. So I figured I'd share that with you guys. Just a little gift from me to you. And let me go ahead and just land here and get some stamina. And hope that little dragon doesn't see me. Thorny. Stay thorny. Good boy. All right. So, there's another thing I wanted to show you. Uh, let me go to my map here. So, if you look at the outer areas of the, you know, penciled on area, instead of water, that's actually just a sea of sand. So, if you go out there, that's kind of like deep desert. And that's where you find all the kinds of crazy sandworms and, and such. So, I mean, if you're going out there, bring a few buddies, because I'll tell you what, those sandworms... They're not easy to solo. Uh, maybe when I get this guy leveled up, it'll be a little better. Or if I had Drake or Wyvern, I guess that's what they are. Uh, might make it a little bit easier. 
But for now, I would not suggest uh, soloing them. Uh, soloing them is, uh, you know, you can kind of fly away for an energy, but if you're on the ground, maybe bring a bunch of dinos, I guess. Uh, also, there's just tons of mantis out there. So also be aware of that. Uh, so I'm going to take you out there next. So we'll be right back. And we're back. So we are actually out in the deep desert. Check this out. It's just a sea of sand. Wow, we're not even there yet. We're almost there. Check this out. There's like all sorts of ruins out here. There's the uh, little creepy crawly things out here. There's all kinds of snakes, scorpions. I did see a few drakes around. Uh, wyverns. There was an electrical one over there a while ago. And there's these, uh, they're like, well, they're like buzzards. Uh, these things, if you kill them, you know what they give you? They give you rotten meat. <laughs> so you can actually get spoiled meat just by killing one, which is awesome. So if you get these, I mean, they're really small. They're not that big a deal. I tried to tame one, but they don't tame. They just, you just can't put anything in its inventory. So I, I don't think it's one of those things. But you see, you get spoiled meat and hide off of them. And that's what you get for the kill. So let me just scarf that up. Now I know it's really bright because it's a desert. Let me give a one maybe. There, that's better. That'll un make it so you're not so blinded. All right, so let's uh, take you out here. I'll show you what we have. Now, if you look over there closely, you'll see some really cool stuff. Let me get my spyglass out. Now, these mantis, I think they're just amazing. Let me get my spyglass out. Check this out. Look at them. They're freaking brutal. They're awesome. And they give a ton of chitin. So, if you're looking for chitin... And you have an RNG, they're actually not a bad kill. They're pretty easy. And they don't really run away, which is great. So you can just rip them up and look at that organic polymer. Polymer for days. So all those recipes that need polymer, because it's so hard to find, uh, it's almost impossible. I mean, you can find it. You can find obsidian around, but it's just really, really hard to find obsidian. So the best bet is just kill these guys and you'll get tons of polymer. It's also cheaper. Look at that. You get so much chitin. I'm going to use chitin to make the... Uh... Whoa! That guy just jumped attacked me. He's a ninja. He's a ninja bug. I'm going to make some cementing paste, so I'm just going to gather up a ton of this. Because we use so much of the cementing paste. Oh, there we go. Come on, little guy. And I'm hoping that we can find a sandworm out here. Now, the worms are, well, ginormous. And I don't think I can kill one yet, but we can try. Let's get some regen here. So you can see the mantis are killable. They're just pretty strong, so just be aware of that. Yeah, let's fly up around here. So the way I found a worm the other day was... I just uh, kind of flew around low to the ground and I saw the sand just bubble up from underneath me and there was a worm. It's kind of like Dune. I'm not sure if you've ever seen a movie. Look it up. It's a great movie. So if you see one, just be aware they are freaking ginormous. So bring some help. Let me... Uh, First, let's, let's take a level up. So I've been pumping up my uh, movement speed because I want to eventually use this as a drake bird to fly in and ninja an egg. So we'll see if that works for us. So if you get a good RG, pump its health and pump its uh, movement speed and some weight. And you can use it as a uh, a dragon egg stealer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I killed, I killed a jug bug. Poor jug bug. Metal sickle. That makes sense. Stupid snake. Get away from my polymer. Snake. Boy, I'm taking some damage now. Snake it. And that's how you get prime right there. So that's what I use to get to take this guy up. Alright. 
So let's land and get some regen. Let's see how we're doing on, uh, look at all the chitin we got off that. That's just ridiculous. Let me drop that. We'll drop that. We'll drop that. We don't need it. Sure, I'll keep a spare pike. But look at all of the, uh, the stuff. Oh, that's different. I just noticed that. If you look over here, the uh, any dead bodies, the vultures come and actually pick their bones. Ah, that's cool. I didn't know they did that. Let's actually just heal up. Now again, I've got it to gamble once, so it's just a lot so bright for you guys, because it's just ridiculous. Well, let me get some healage. Come on, heal up. 3k hit points not too bad, but it's not... It's, it's going to be tough. We'll, we'll put it that way. Stuff is pretty tough here. Alright, so I showed you how to find an RG. I showed you how to get some organic polymer, and I showed you how to farm some chitin. And something's attacking me. A vulture. Stupid bird. Get off me. Let me fly away. I think I'm... I think he might have attacked me because he thought I was taking his kill. Okay, okay, you can have your rotten carcass. So, this is Glass of Game, and I'd like to take this time to thank all my viewers and all my subscribers. Thank you all so very much. Without all of you, this wouldn't be a thing. If you enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button and comment below. And as always, if you have not done so already, please subscribe and stay glassy. Bye-bye.